guys, and welcome to this very special episode of Through the Glass Table. As always, I'm Isabella, and y'all know my co-host, Everett. Well, okay, today we're going to review the most anticipated film for Lionsgate called Boo! A Medea's Halloween 2. Hey, Medea! You at it again, you dumb, stupid hoe. We got a bitch who screams too much, a fat hoe that rolls around everywhere, and a motherfucker that says motherfucker way too much and wants to rape little girls. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm, Christian values at it again. Anyways, Tyler Perry's brand new sequel ropes it up again at the movie screen. And I'm done. <laughs> um, we saw it. Mm. Mm. We reviewed this, the, mm-hmm. the original film, what, two years ago? A year ago? I don't know. A year ago, because it didn't take them to, that long to, to stitch together another crap. Cash movie. money. I mean, cow cash? What is it? A cash cow. Cash cow. Yeah. Um, Ismail, all right, Isabella, what did you think of Medea Boo Halloween 2? <sighs> oh, well... <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> like, I didn't, I knew I wasn't going to like this. But I'm just like having an existential crisis because it's just like, why is it, why is another one? Why, why did they make another one? What did they not learn from the first one? Well, they didn't learn how to make a movie again. <laughs> I mean, this isn't really a movie. Yet again, I think I even mentioned this in the last one, was that this is like a telenovela kind of scripted like it's how, how, it's how low can you go to call it a movie without it not being a movie? So that's the thing. The, these characters haven't changed. Not that I'm expecting like deep character development in this fucking movie, but the the daughter is a is a bitch is a fucking bitch for no reason. Mm-hmm. They introduced the mom. I don't. I know the mom existed in the first one, but she wasn't a character. Nah, she wasn't one. a character, yeah. an actual. Person. Now she's in this one, and she's a fucking bitch for no reason. She makes these decisions. She don't seem like an adult to me. Not that. They don't seem like people, mm. like human beings, because they're written by a retard. Oh, oh, calm down, calm down. Is it like I? There's no other. I don't like that for, word. Mm-mm. I'm gonna snatch that fucking. <laughs> <thing. laughs> like, do what do we talk about? Well, let's some... just talk about overall. What you think of the story? What story, the... nigga? What story? <laughs> there is no fucking story. What story? Don't you take that tone with me. <laughs> I won't have it in my quarters. I'll say, look, you said this, and I'll call sign with you. At the very least, the pacing was better. Pacing was better. It didn't have that those draggy scenes where they just did nothing for like 20 minutes and talked. Oh, no, no. They had them. They no, just but, weren't 20 minutes long. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, 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 it still fell into the same Tyler Perry thing where he's doing where like it's cuts between all their faces and them saying something, but then you lose the original joke. Did yeah. you know something? Now they talk about yeah. like sex. There's a lot of real weird sexual things in here that was making me uncomfortable. And a lot of it had to do with underage girls. And sexual assault. Yeah. And everyone sexual in Sexual here... assault, Everett. <laughs> everyone in here, I can't look at you. <laughs> everyone... <laughs> everyone in here is like a, uh, like a cartoon where they, they're like an extreme of a stereotype. So the man, it's like if you're not, if you're not a, if you're not an evil teenager bitch or a stupid bitch, and I'm using, I'm not using this to insult those people who play the characters. That's what the characters are. Yeah. So if yeah, you're yeah. not an evil teenager bitch or you're not an evil stupid bitch that left Tyler Perry for another man, then you're a pimp. You're a pimp. Or you're a prostitute. Uh huh. Or you're a drug dealer. Or what else? What or else? or uh, um, a dumb, yeah. like strong machismo guy. Yeah, that would with, with with slight undertones uh-huh. that he might rape you. Yeah, there's a the the slutty uh, fraternity girl. Mm-hmm. So it's just like there's these little little images of, of of people doing wrong, and then they get their upcomings at the very end, or they get or they just know, drop up. it. You know what? To give him a little kudos. He at least had one strong thing. One, remember, because the first one, everyone was having different kind of problems, and yeah. then it kind of all got summed up with like Christian values for some reason. <laughs> but that's just, <laughs> 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 it was just like how how we end up here. <laughs> didn't have it. <laughs> the lesson learned in this one actually made sense with what 
the initial. What, bitch, you can't drive because you, you don't know how to drive? Just, you shouldn't be repeating the same mistakes or, um, uh, from the first movie when you almost got raped. It took you me an be hour and 40 minutes to the learn, le the lesson learned was don't get raped. <laughs> <laughs> don't repeat the same mistakes like you did last time when you almost got raped. Oh, gosh. This is a Christian movie. This is a very Christian movie. Again, this is a teenager who doesn't listen to her father. Again, repeat from the first one. And um, listens to the mother who turns out to be the bad influence in this. So it's kind of switching of roles if you actually think about it. Normally, you know, think about, you think about the mother. There's also the some weird power fantasy that I found. Maybe it's just me. I found in the relationship between the mom and, and Tyler, Tyler Perry. Who plays the father. Of like, why did, like... Sometimes people just just grow apart, mm -hmm. and they leave, you know, and they find other people. Why does she have to be a a, a, a hatred, a hated, hatred filled, yeah. oaky, smoky ass bitch? Like that's it. Just seems like he's projecting that. Listen, onto honey, that character. the reason why he did. <laughs> Stop! You gotta keep. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. The reason why he did that is because he's insecure. He's <laughs> I'm trying to talk like Medea here. Oh shit. Uh, technically speaking, they put more money in this bitch than the first one. Yeah, it was it was better production value. <laughs> better protection. Do you well, remember the first one? Yeah, the first boo <laughs> when they try to do that, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Did that the, the digital post zoom? zoom? The digital yeah. zoom? They didn't we, have that bitch in here. Well, it, it was much better. I think they did on some parts, but it was done in the in correctly. The right way. Correctly, yeah, where it was dark, so you couldn't see the artifacts of the uh, zoom in. Yeah, it was. It was. It looked better. For some reason, they curse in this movie, and they cursed a lot in the first movie. Yeah, and it was still PG thirteen. Yeah. It wasn't, none of his movies are ever rated R. But it was, they cursed in this movie. Mm. And I started to notice that the curse words were being bleeped out and replaced by, you know, like instead of motherfucker, it was mother trucker. Or uh, what was the one they kept using? Bullshit? They, they could say shit, but bullshit was like bull, bull crap. crap. Bull crap. Yeah. yeah it was exactly bull like. Crap. <laughs> I know they're not, they didn't censor this movie. You know what happened? Was that, see, they, they did the original shoot. This is what happens. It was just like, let's see how much we can get away with. So they, they shoot everything on how they're going to get away with. And then MPAA the comes back and says, this is too much. If you want this PG-13, you're going to have to do something about this. So instead of fucking doing reshoots, he's Hello, too poor. Hello, that most movies will go and do reshoots. Yeah, he's too poor. Okay, because low budget. So they just fucking ADR that shit. But is it low budget? Like, we've never looked at the... the I'm sure the it was projected. like $20 million. Because the first one was like $20 million. Okay. But that shit made double its money. So this is why they keep doing crap movies. And they're getting all Isabella mad. I don't, I don't understand these. <laughs> like in Tyler Perry. I really don't. I, it's like someone should just shank him. Just, <laughs> just take his nuts off. You know what I'm saying? I'm not for castration unless it's self-evident. <laughs> Um. <laughs> I don't think I have anything else to say. As a, yes. a member of the black community, I just, on one hand, he, like he fascinates me because on one hand, he's doing a lot that a lot of black artists haven't been able to accomplish. And, you know, he came from nothing. 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 But on the other hand, it's like, what is this? And why does it have to be this low? That's like when my mom, like I, like my grandparents and my mom would say, oh, you know, you got to support black businesses. But then you go to Eminem Soul Food and it take three hours to get your fucking food. Oh, they ran out of like salt. The basic shit. Or the fucking waitress has a fucking attitude. Mm -hmm. So am I supposed to patronize that? When I go to Coco's, they gave me my pie on time. <laughs> so you got it, it can't just you, be you're equating Tyler Perry and his history with fucking Coco's <laughs> you, you know how the fat point that I'm trying to make is do I have to patronize him Ooh, just because he's, he's black? black no and I understand if you like it that's fine cause I like you know loving hip hop and stuff that is not that I objectively know is not good but just as a responsibility as an artist 
is this the best he can do? And that's a tricky question to answer because um, just the state of Hollywood and everything, being a person of color is hard to begin with. So not only are you entertaining the audience that you're given, True. but you also have to entertain the box that you're placed in. And I think Tyler Perry now has become a place card holder for black um, directors. They're not, we don't got no John Singleton. Spike There's no Lee more is, Spike Lee. He's gone. We have, he's, what's his face? Uh, so to fill that market, yeah. you have Tyler Perry right now. So he's just filling the need. If I remember the conversations that we used to have, well, your history of Tyler Perry, some shit of that in his beginnings was good. Like his plays. When he started off, they were really good and insightful. But then it's like the industry has changed him to be just a cash cow. It's boiled down to just... Simple tropes and laughing matter. But who's and laughing? stereotypes. Who's laughing in the end? Black people. And Tyler Perry, because he's taking home money. True. This is getting deep. Ooh, shoot. Well, and then down. I also imagine, too, Ooh. if Tyler... Well, Tyler Perry has done different things, I'll be honest. Like, he's did the... Well, he has a TV. Color Girls. Yeah, and, and he has... Those TV shows are just as bad. But that's a oh, whole other well, thing I, you got to do. I, I never... I never... <clears throat> they're really... Like, on the own network? Bad. I don't know, but I don't have anything else to say. Do you? Uh, no, I don't. Before I ask you what you give Medea's Boo Halloween, The Nightmare Before Christmas 2, <laughs> I have to introduce, or we have oh, to introduce yeah, 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 yeah. our new system mm-hmm. of, of rating. scoring. Yeah, mm-hmm. so if you can see right here, a score is still one out of five, oh, but <clears throat> my boop. we'll put it here somewhere. But as you can see, it's different directors, and on each of ours, the lowest director is the ones that you can imagine are the lowest ones, and then the ones we high, hold in high esteem are five out of five. So anywhere in between that, that's where our score is. So mm-hmm. what do you give Medea Boo a Halloween Christmas fantasy part? Five? I give Tyler Perry and his bullshit wrapped in a box a Michael Bay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I give it a fucking zero. Ooh. Shocking. Um, I just don't get it. You don't give Tyler Perry a Tyler Perry? I <laughs> I'll forget, I'll forget who my number one is. It probably is Tyler <laughs> it is, Perry. It is Tyler Perry. <clears throat> but yeah, I just give it the Tyler Perry out of Tyler Perry. Or no, zero out of zero. It's a nothing. It's a nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, I just don't get it. Mm. I have, I understand why people like it, but I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. This will probably be the last time that I ever see it. No, I'm going to watch number three if it come up. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'd like to thank our special guest, Isabella, for showing up today. You're welcome, boo. Anytime you want. <laughs> Zip is fucking hot in here. <laughs> Shit. Um, thank mm. you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next month. We got a couple of things, but they don't really matter because on December 18th, Star Wars comes out, and we already have our tickets. 18th. So, 14th. That's when we're going, but it really comes out December 18th. Anyways, we'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>